Hello El Paso and Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us on the first edition of Your City in 5 for 2024. I am your host, Ricky Saias. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. The El Paso Zoo and Botanical Gardens is mourning the death of Sunbear Heliana, who had to be euthanized after a long battle with cancer. The 30-year-old was being treated, but a medical exam showed the cancer had spread, forcing the animal care team to humanely put her down. I'm very sad for the loss, but she had a good life, and it's really a tribute to the keepers here and the care they gave her that she did, you know, exceed her lifespan by about 10 years, and that she wasn't comfortable and in good health up until the last couple of days. Heliana came to the zoo in 1995 from a zoo in Maryland. She was the only sun bear in Texas and one of four in the United States. Heliana will be missed. El Paso Public Libraries are accepting food donations to pay for library fines. The Food for Fines initiative kicked off just after New Year's Day with city leaders and nonprofit organizations calling for the community to drop off food into yellow bins at all city branch libraries. For every kind of food or every two pounds of pet food donated, the library will remove one dollar from book fines. We want people to be reading, we want people to check out books, we want people to, to you know, take material home. So this is a big thing. It helps not just the person that's bringing down their fines, but we're also helping the vulnerable in our community. The results of this food drive go such a long way. We at the Opportunity Center, we provide three meals a day to over 400 people on a daily basis. And so it's a wonderful blessing to be part of this event. Donations can be dropped off at any neighborhood branch library through January 20th. The donated food will go to the Opportunity Center for the homeless and animal services. New year and new opportunities at the City of El Paso. Parks and Recreation is starting lifeguard certification courses. If you're 15 and older and you think you have what it takes to become a lifeguard, then you're encouraged to apply. The course is offered in collaboration with the American Red Cross. Aquatic staff from Parks and Recreation will guide applicants through the process. Just visit elpasotexas.gov slash parks. There is a fee, but if you get certified, you'll get hired instantly by Parks and Recreation. You can start your career at the city of El Paso as a lifeguard and make a difference in our community. Great news out of the El Paso International Airport. Starting Monday, January 8th, there will be premium reserve parking in front of the baggage claim entrance. The parking lot has 185 spots with a cost of $20 per day and can be reserved at a kiosk machine or online at flyelp.com. If your new year resolves to be healthy and stay active, the city of El Paso is here to help. Live Active El Paso offers free fitness classes, activities, and programs for all ages, all year round. You can attend one of the classes offered by fitness instructors at different recreation centers or any facility throughout the city. There's yoga, Zumba, high intensity fitness, as well as mental health and nutrition courses all free. Keep up with the program and activities by following Live Active El Paso on social media or visit liveactivep.com. All smiles during the holidays as the city of El Paso catered delicious meals at all of the 11 senior centers. To celebrate the new year and after Christmas, seniors received free meals that included turkey, vegetables, cheesecake, and pumpkin pie. The food is delicious. Oh my God, I like it. And then we had another one for Christmas. So it was delicious too. It was very, we had a lot of fun. Yes, and we thank the city for that. At least we appreciate what they're doing to us. The Senior Holiday Meals Program is one of many initiatives provided by our dedicated staff at Parks and Recreation. Kudos for providing the meals. Keep up the good work, Team EP. The coolest fest in the Southwest has ended, but the memories will last forever for six weeks. Winterfest 2023 took downtown by storm, providing all kinds of holiday cheer and smiles. Thousands of El Pasoans and visitors enjoyed the rink, the glacier slide, holiday movies, entertaining outdoor performances at the plaza that got everyone dancing, the holiday market, delicious food trucks, and more than one million lights and oversized decorations at San Jacinto Plaza. It started in late November with the lighting of the holiday tree and plaza, followed by the Share Legate Light Parade. A huge thank you to the Share Legate Law Firm for stepping up to become the title sponsor of Winterfest. When it matters most, you can trust the Share Legate Law Firm lawyers who will fight for your rights. A shout out to all the city employees as well who helped Winterfest come to life, especially Parks and Recreation staff who sacrificed weekends to make it happen. And by the way, Winterfest 2024 is already cooking. 
We're out of time, but we want to thank you for watching Your City in Five throughout the years. And as we embark into 2024, we want to wish you a healthy, happy, and prosperous new year. We'll see you next time on Your City in Five.